You ain't gonna splash the grease. Yeah. You're not gonna. Okay. You're gonna do none of that stuff. You know, and the grease gonna come mm -hmm. right off it. Oh, look how beautiful mm -hmm. that is. It's not nice that it. Keep it from splashing when you turn it over. Use your hand. Well, use your hand. Hey, and Friday is fish day. We have some fresh fish that we just uh, cleaned and filleted. This is all fresh fish, not bought at the store, fish from the lakes. And so I'm gonna fry up some of this fish, make a little spaghetti, and we'll have that for dinner real and quick, the, right? Like lake perch. Lake perch and or uh, bass and, and bass, whiting. Uh, whiting we bass, have bass. different kinds of fish here. So I'm gonna put some in storage bags Put it in the freezer. And the rest um, of it put it in my stomach. <laughs> the rest of it, Thomas said, we're going to put it in our stomach. What? We're going to put it in our what? In our belly. In our, in our belly. That's right. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah. That's all we're doing right now. We just left the little farmer's market in town and came home. Um... You know, I'd like, like, can I say something here? Uh-huh. You know, the, the young lady that we had uh, helping us clean the fish and uh, along with you, it, one thing that, that you notice here, you see the, the little slits here in, in, in the mm -hmm. fish here? Mm -hmm. and I, I like that idea. I hadn't seen that before, but I like mm -hmm. the idea. The purpose of that is the thick part of the fish will get mm -hmm. done mm -hmm. just as quick as the thin part. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you can put your, your seasoning in here. Yeah. And you can put your seasoning here, yeah. and, and all this will be uh, crisp right. when, when you That's eat it. Right. So, and I like to put it on that side too. Isn't that so beautiful. That, that is really I didn't. Nice. I didn't clean these fish, karma like babies. We have someone yeah, who help us do, uh, that. Help us do different but, uh, things. That's a good, that's the a good house. little tip to just cut a little yeah, slit in there like it's that, beautiful. so I can get it in and get crisp for you. She does an absolutely fabulous mm -hmm. job. She really. Hey, I like I like eating the uh, the fins and the tail. Oh yeah, I like chewing on that too. It give you a good <laughs> good, uh, good so, sound bite. Now some people use cornmeal. Some people use uh, cornmeal and uh, cornmeal and flour. Mm -hmm. You know. Different strokes are different folks. I mean, if you want to use that, if that's what you like, that's what you like. You got a choice either way. Mm -hmm. Some people use both of them together. So yeah. It just depends on, on, on your How are we going to try this today? We got our skillet know. going, I, guys. I, I Let wanna, me show you. I want to, uh, you got a cast iron skillet here. Let me show the skillet. It's cast iron. And that's where we're going to fry our fish in. Yeah. Uh, what was your um, question? How are you going to fry it? Are you going to mix flour and meal together and make your own batter? I think, I, yeah. Or he's just gonna use flour. Some people, a lot of people, don't use flour on fish, but it tastes great, um, guys. You know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, mean, I, I well, like flour on fish because I think this flour's got a little bit of cornmeal in it anyway. I think it's all in it, but you know, I don't care either way. I'm gonna eat it, whether it comes out good or not. That's a pretty well, we got right going over there a pot that we're gonna put our spaghetti in. Just a quick meal: fried fish and uh -huh. spaghetti. I have some. Uh, oh, it's time for me to do my some green cold juice. Juice. Oh yeah. Guess See, Grandpa's still doing his green drinks, guys. Mm -hmm. We just love from up on the uh, farmers market up there. So. Can you show that uh, on oh. the show here? Oh yeah, your uh, cross here. Yeah. No, I mean, the, uh, Mary Jo's yeah, tamales. <laughs> yes, it is a Friday night fish fry, and Thomas is making the fried fish. We just put it in a, a bag that you can put it in a Ziploc bag or a storage bag or whatever or a bowl or whatever. We put the flour in the bag. We have our skillet here and um, Thomas is going to, he just put some water over there to check to see if it's hot. Does it look like it's hot, don't it? Yes, it does. Okay, I'm just going to put the, uh, the fish in there. Thomas is the best cook around, guys. <laughs> this is gonna be some good eating. Look at that fish there. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Wow, that is beautiful, Thomas. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. 
Mm. So you see the stove is turned up real high. Stove is on high. Mm-hmm. Oh Beautiful. That's gonna be so pretty. Look at that. See how it's dry? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll come back when we turn it or whatever we need to do with it. We have our, I use, I love linguine. I've got that boiling and I'm going to put just some spaghetti sauce in there. You know, make it really quick, season it up really nicely. Make a little broccoli slaw and that's going to be our dinner. So I have a little sugar, sprinkle a little sugar in there. I have a little uh, organic balsamic vinegar. I'm going to put a little tap of that in there. I'm trying to film, guys, and do everything with one hand. I'm not. I think I'm just going to put a little dash. That's it. A little dash. Got some mayonnaise in here. And instead of using cabbage, well, we're using uh, broccoli, carrots. Um, we do have the red cabbage there, and that's going to be our coleslaw. And over here, it's turned up real high, so I had to turn it down real low. Turn so. it down. We can't turn it too high. Yeah, yeah. that's beautiful. That's going to be delicious. And, and on this, to turn it over, I don't like to use my fork or anything like that. Oh. It's going to pierce the fish. Uh -huh. I like to use a spatula or something oh so I can look under it. Hard, so, so I can see what's going on underneath there. Oh, you know. it up, you ain't going to flash the grease. Yeah. You're not going to do none of that stuff. You know, and the grease going to mm -hmm. come right off it. Oh, it looks like beautiful. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Keep it from flashing when you turn it over. Use your hand. Well, use your hand. Ain't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. and this is coming along. I'm going to throw a little garlic in here, guys, and uh, I'm going to put, when any time I use uh, tomato sauce, I like to use a little butter to cut the acidity from the tomato sauce. I'm going to put a little butter in here. I'm going to put some garlic, fresh garlic in here, salt and pepper, and that's going to be our spaghetti. Okay? Here are a couple of pieces of fish that Thomas just fried. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That is good. It is good. Oh, hello, my karma babies. <laughs> yes, I spent the day out um, at the farmer's market, okay? Um, came home and we decided we wanted some fish. Um, we have spaghetti. I have a little spaghetti and a little, uh, garlic bread that I made on the side here. But here's, let me show you my fish. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to dig in. I'm hungry. I was at the farmer's market all day uh, with Thomas. And uh, we have uh, we have a couple of different types of fish here. But it's all fresh. Um, we have friends, like I said, that go fishing. They bring us fish back. And look at this. This is just beautiful. That's fish. We have bass and we have, I'm gonna dig in guys. Can't wait, I'm hungry. Um, I have, we have bass and we have whiting. And I don't know one from the other. All I know is that it's good. Look at that fish. Look at the white, delicate meat there. Look at that. Man, I got some hot sauce here that I'm gonna dip it in. Mmm, yummy yum. It's very good. I made a little spaghetti, really quick spaghetti. Actually, you know I love using linguine. 
but I made that real quick. Just came home, fried fish, threw some spaghetti in there, used uh, store-bought spaghetti sauce. Mm -hmm. mm. Put a little garlic in there. It's very good. Season it up. I always add a tad bit of butter to my spaghetti. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Um, we have a lady who, man, I tell you, Some little bones down there. This young lady helps us. While we were up there working, she was here cleaning the fish for me and making the tamales. So we have a, a, a lady that helps us. I don't know what I would do without her. She's amazing. She helps me a lot. Mm. That's my broccoli slaw. They sell that at the Walmart here. And all I did was add a little um, balsamic vinegar in there, a little agave sugar, and mayonnaise. And my daughter said it was very delicious. It's got carrots cut up, fresh broccoli, um, red cabbage. So, You know, this is a quick meal. You come home, you've worked all day. You can still make a good dinner. You know, you just have to, you know, do it, right? Sorry, I'm taking bones. You know, fish has bones, right? <clears throat> so we had a really good day today. Um... Very good. Had a good day. So a lot of tamales. <laughs> I made myself some little garlic bread. Mm. That's good. Mm. Fish starts looking crazy when you start tearing it apart, right, guys? Uh huh. I see that bone right there in the middle with all the. See that? I'm just gonna go around that. Mm-hmm. And I'm chewing on this. Is a fan. I love it. Here, crunchy. So good. You have to be careful if you're not used to eating fish. You don't want a bone to get stuck in your throat. <laughs> Always have some bread handy when you're eating fish with bones. Because you can swallow the bread and hopefully It'll dislodge if you get a bone stuck. Mm -hmm. I didn't do an elaborate setup or anything, guys. I just came home, said, do this together, and said, I'm gonna 
film it for my karma babies. And this is my Friday. I don't know when I'm going to get it up. It might be Friday. No, I doubt that. <laughs> because I'm going to, after I eat, I'm going to clean up my kitchen. And then I'm going to hit the sack because tomorrow is another day. That, okay, this has too many bones. Look at that. See? Look at those bones. I'm not going to be able to eat that. I could if I took my time, but I'm not. I'm not about that life right now. <laughs> I'm not about that life right now. Right now, I am about eating. Mm hmm. Really good meal. Home cooked. Home cooked. Nothing like a home cooked meal, guys. Nothing wrong with eating out, but you know, when you know what you're putting in your own food, your seasoning, mmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Oh guys, remember in the last video, I told you that I had a couple of surprises for you guys. Well, one of them has <clears throat> happened. Um... I had someone call me today and let me know that it did happen. And I haven't seen the final touch of it yet, but as soon as I see it and have it available, I'm going to let you guys know about it. But it's, it's exciting, fun. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So, I'm going to be sharing it very soon, guys. <laughs> it's not like it's going to be uh, down the line. Because this happened very quickly. Very quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just peel my fish off of here. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. That's the wonderful thing about living here in the South. There's so many foods that are fresh. You go fishing. Say you don't have any money to pay for a meal, right? There's fishing ponds everywhere. Now, they belong to somebody, of course. It's on their land. But people are so often, some of it might be out in the woods. Go fishing. Cut yourself some fish. And you have your dinner. Go hunting. Shoot a deer. And you have food to last you for months. Mm. Earlier, Tommy, when we went, he made us mm, some deer sausage. Made deer sausage. Um, with eggs. And on a toast, and that deer sausage is excellent. <laughs> That's fun to do at any age, guys. Mm -hmm. Like my fish fried heart. So, just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, I got to clean up. 
I'm going to relax a little bit and be ready to go back out there tomorrow. That's what it's all about. I love it. I meet people from all over. I met a guy today that's from Washington, D.C. And he has been traveling in a beautiful RV since June of last year. He said him and his wife, and they look like they might have been in their, in their 40s. He said they sold their home. They bought the RV and decided that they were going to travel and enjoy their life, and that's what they're doing. <laughs> From Washington, D.C. They're all the way down here. He said last night he had uh, crawfish for the first time. And today, he was going to have tamales. Mississippi Delta tamales for the first time. Oh, man. I kind of envy people that have the nerve and courage. To just say, you know what? I'm out of this rat race here. I am going to travel. Enjoy myself. Hold on, guys. Yes! I'll bring you one. There's not one by the bed. I'll bring you one in a minute. Okay, guys. Grandpa Karma's calling. He needs me. So I'm out of here. Okay, guys. Just wanted to share this quick meal. Oh. I have a mess going on, don't I? <laughs> Look like I enjoyed this dinner. Yes. I'm going to munch a little bit. But guys, fish, coleslaw, spaghetti, garlic bread, and I'm going to drink water. I love you guys. Bye-bye now.